Hi guys, I know you have been asking me quite a lot about makeup tutorials and beauty videos, so finally, here I am. I promised to do it. I partnered up with Harry, whose channel you will see down in comments and at the end of this video as well. She is a wonderful expert makeup artist. And as a first video with her, I thought to do a smoky eye, which I'm wearing right now, you might have noticed. It's a, a look that I think it's passepartout. I think everybody loves a smoky eye. It's easy, it's good for evening wear, obviously. It makes you look straight away party ready. But Harry's gonna tell you more about how to make it lighter or darker. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I've used on you just to prep your skin, darling, is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. Have you tried this one before? Never tried it, let's try it. It's really nice. We've just put a sheer base over just to even out the skin tone, but it doesn't kind of cover to the point where it feels heavy or cakey. It's just very light, very fresh. And then we've just used a little bit of the Clarins Instant Concealer, just a little bit around the nose and under the eyes. Always Again, need concealer. Always. Everyone needs concealer, yeah. It's just great, really brightening, and just gets rid of any redness as well. So we've used that. We're gonna start <laughs> with Rimmel Scandalize. This is an amazing eye pencil. This one is waterproof, but it still gives you a lot of time to blend with it as well, and it's super affordable. So the first thing, and this is great if you find that you find putting kind of eyeliner on difficult, because you can actually be quite messy with it, and the messier you do it, the better it looks in the end. Yes. Okay. Take so my word for I it, can trust be, me. I <laughs> yeah. can be in a car. And you do can it. do it in a car, yeah. Lovely. Go, it's go my steady. You can, yeah. I'm always in taxis, always late, so it's perfect. Yes, yeah. exactly. So we're going to take it first in the inner waterline, so take it a bit first. And again, you can go into the lashes, you can go a little bit outside of them. I'm just going to smudge them. And then we're going to do the same on the top. If you just lift the lid slightly, then it helps you get right into the roots of the lashes as well. So you don't have any gaps. And again, just being nice and messy, you can literally just do little imprints of dots if you find that easier. So great if you don't have a steady hand or you find these kind of things really tricky, this is. Just taking a smudger brush now, if you close your eyes we done. So not only am um, I just going over the messy dots we did, but you can also pull it out slightly so you start to create that cat eye shape. So we're just giving the eye a bit of lift as well but we've just made the roots of the lash nice and black and intense. So, you know, for some people that may be your smoky eye. It might just be the black hole smudged in. Again, I'm, there's no technique really involved other than just pushing it over the product. So just backwards and forwards, rolling it in, nice soft brush. And again, just in the outer corner, just put it out slightly. So I guess it's about the brush too. Yeah, I think a good brush, something like with a domed head as well, just gives you a bit more precision to pull out the eye a little bit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is do a neutral tone. So this is again where you can kind of get your base of your smoky eye. So we're using the um, Naked palette by Urban Decay. I love this palette, it's so good. I feel like everyone should have it. So we're just taking a MAC 217 fluffy brush. Now we're just gonna put this all over your lid. And even where kind of the coal will, you know, move about the eye, it gives that nice kind of lived in rock and roll feel. I've never thought about them putting some like lighter color on top of my smoky eye. Yeah, because you'll still get the coal, you know, giving you the definition around your lash line, which is where you want it smoky, really. And if you have a darker skin tone, just go for um, like a top that's a bit more chocolatey or a bit darker. And same if you have lighter skin, you can just go for some little like a latte color. Mm, latte. So. So, and what you can do as well to create that nice kind of elongated eye shape is just taking a bit of the coal on the outer part of the eye, just a tiny bit of extra coal, and then just go back to your smaller blending brush, almost as if you created like a flick eyeliner. Oh, And just Harry. really blend over the top. If I could, <laughs> I would just go right to the ear. <laughs> I'm afraid of that tool, but it's a very important tool. It is, and I think a lot of people are afraid of it, but I think it has a lot of power. <laughs> Powerful. It is. It Tell just, it to them. It just makes the eyes bigger. It really is the quickest way just to like really open up the eye. So obviously it's different doing it on yourself to me doing it on someone else, but I do really recommend curling lashes. Eyelash so, curler magic. Yep. So I'm gonna get you to stay where you are, but look at your knee for me, darling. So no, you keep at looking me. down. Yeah, this is the best way especially if you're doing it with someone else, and then you just want to make sure every single lash is inside. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. And just release. Ooh. And instantly you have a much bigger, wide awake eye. I cry, but it's, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so next we're going to take the Laura Mercier. This one is their newest mascara, which is Extra Lash Sculpting Mascara. 
got a nice big comb, you can look up for me darling, so I'm just going to run this through the bottom lashes, I think you do want a good amount of mascara on the bottom lashes, and you want to kind of like rub the roots a little bit with the mascara on, so you really get that volume, you can see that nice intense lash coming through. So this is great, have you tried this? Never. This is Suki, which is a Japanese brand, and this is an eyebrow pen, but the strokes it makes are like the fairest finest little stroke so you can literally create brand new brow hairs it's oh, amazing wow. yeah so you literally just use this like a felt tip but again because the point is so fine you can just literally push it through the brows give volume but also it's kind of soft enough to use near the front Drop. and just go lighter when you get towards the inside so just use a slightly lighter hand so you know if you're creating an arch that's might be where you add more product Pulling the outside out a little bit longer, and like you said, you like an almond eye. Yes. If you pull your brow out that little bit longer as well, it kind of elongates the eye as well. Amazing. So, just taking a bit of eight hour cream, this is the intensive lip repair balm. I'm going to put you some lip balm on now, darling. So, when we come to do your lips, they're nicely prepped and smooth. A concealer brush, first of all, just make sure everything's clean from where you've done your smoky eye. And also, you said you like that scooped eye. This is where you can use your concealer to cheat. Uh -huh. So you can literally just emphasise that shape with your concealer. So this is absolutely gorgeous, and it has kind of everything you need to finish your base with. So this is by Hourglass, and it's there. It's a real light edit. I'm just going to use that to set under the eyes a little bit, and all over the skin. But it will still keep the skin looking nice and alive, so it stops it going too flat. And then I'm going to use, this one's actually a bronzer, believe it or not. So yeah, it's amazing. When I first tried it, I was like, that's not going to be bronzer. And I couldn't believe it. It's like a gorgeous colour. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt brush. And where do you apply it? And then what you can do for it, again, a good easy way is to do a fishy face. There we go. <laughs> and then just follow along from the top of your ear. So if you follow down from the top of your ear towards the lips. But again, you don't want to go kind of past the centre of the eyeball. And then just make sure you blend with circular motions again. And then you can always go as well with your concealer brush or a powder brush. Just to make sure there's no edges. And just keep it nice and soft. So I think to finish, I'm just going to use a really, really light kind of light sheeny lipstick that's quite low-key and okay. kind of still plays up the eye. Mm -hmm. so this is Rosie for Autograph. It's one of Rosie Huntington Whitey's lipsticks. Oh, I love her lips. Yeah, it's exactly. It's like, who doesn't want a Rosie Huntington Whitey lip? And this is called Sweetie Darling. <laughs> so it's just a nice sheer pink and again I'm just going to pop this over the balm so it just gives a little bit more light to the lip. It still allows the eye to be focused really. And again this is great, you, know, you can kind of do this one without looking in a mirror so if you're out at a party it's nice and easy. Well thank you, now I look like I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> Magic done, I'm ready, I feel very feminine <laughs> and mysterious. Thank you, Harry. Oh, it's a pleasure. It. It's been so much fun. So subscribe to her channel. Check her out. <laughs> all of her tutorials and everything. I've learned a lot today. So I'm going to apply all of your tips and tricks <laughs> for my smoky eye from now on. Oh, Thank you. You look gorgeous, darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.